This is what happened in Harare back in February. These war veterans had wanted to hold a rally to show their frustrations over their leaders, but police would not let them. They are concerned 92-year-old President Robert Mugabe is being manipulated by people close to him who want to take over. What do you want to achieve? Do you want to destroy what we fought for? We want to know why are you treating us like dogs? Shortly after riot police dispersed the war veterans, the president spoke on national television. People were naturally hurt, or at least they had this uh, water from the cannons down their bodies, let alone the tear gas in their eyes. We regret that they suffered this. In the past, the war veterans have been a powerful and sometimes dangerous lobby group. They led the often violent state-sponsored land reform program, where commercial farms were seized from white owners and given to blacks. <laughs> President Mugabe is a patron of the war veterans. Analysts believe it's a battle for influence. It's a battle of roles and uh, essentially perhaps the patron wants to read the riot act to them but in turn the war veterans, at least through the media, are trying to say we'll defend our space. President Mugabe has agreed to meet the war veterans on Thursday. There is a lot of speculation over how much influence President Mugabe's wife Grace has over him. The war veterans have made it clear. They say they respect the president, but they worry that he is being misled by several people, including his wife, who is nearly 40 years younger than him. It's also alleged Grace Mugabe leads one faction in the ruling Zanu PF party. But many war veterans seem to back a faction led by Vice President Emerson Mnangagwa, who is also a liberation war hero. Some analysts say Mugabe has managed to stay in power for 36 years, partly because the war veterans have protected him, which means he'll have to convince the former freedom fighters that he is still capable of making his own decisions. Harumutasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.